Hello, I am Professor Ajit Virkud from Mumbai. Today, I am going to do a product review for a tablet-based intrapartum labor monitoring device called as Care, submitted to me by a startup company from Bengaluru called Jainitri. They have devised a wireless patch-based electronic fetal heart rate monitoring device. All the research and development was done in-house by this company. Care uses fetal ECG, maternal ECG and uterine electromyogram signals to measure the labor parameters. The first thing that impressed me was that all the components are neatly packed in a completely portable carry case with a sturdy build for easier transit between patients' beds and hospital wards. This makes it a transportable device which is a very very convenient thing. The following components were provided to me by the company. Actual monitoring device, display tablet, stand for the tablet, donut with lead wires and a set of three disposable pouches containing adhesive ring stickers and exfoliation tape in each pouch. This is the actual monitoring device which shows the fetal heart rate, maternal heart rate and uterine contractions. On the top, it also shows the extent to which the battery is charged and the actual time. At the bottom, there is a color LED indicator about which I will talk later. One can either view the static readings of fetal heart rate, maternal heart rate and uterine contractions or a continuous wave reading as shown here. Every care device has its own unique ID which is used for pairing. It is mentioned on the box. It is provided with its own docking container for charging the device. A USB-B to mini USB-A charger is also provided. A full charge takes about 2-3 to three hours. A full charge lasts for around 24 hours which is known as the discharge time which is enough for continuous monitoring of a single patient in labor. The display provided is a 10 inch diagonal tablet that has high definition resolution. The tablet has a storage of 16 GB. A SIM card has also been provided by the company. It pairs with the device via its own Wi-Fi. Other Android software are also installed on the tablet which makes it very convenient. A tabletop stand is provided for mounting the display tablet which is very convenient. There is a lock on the stand to ensure that nobody can steal the tablet. I like this small thoughtful gesture. A bracket for wall mounting of the display near the patient's bed is also an option. This is a donut which has 5 wire leads coming out of it. They are color coded. 4 of these have long wire leads. The fifth short wire lead is to be connected to the patch that is 4 fingers above the pubic symphysis and lies directly above the fetal head. It is equivalent to the fetal scalp electrode of intrabottom fetal monitoring. As shown here, they have now introduced a new patch device which makes attaching lead wires easy. It is sold separately. The disposable pouch contains 5 sets of electrodes as shown, exfoliation tape and an adhesive ring sticker to be placed on the donut that is to be applied over the umbilicus. Later I will demonstrate how they are applied. How does this technology work? KR device is a fetal and maternal ECG monitoring system and not an ultrasound based system. A fast ICA algorithm is used to separate the signals from each component and then the sample entropy is used to identify the channel from where the fetal ECG signal is located. The fetal and maternal heart rates are then calculated and displayed in real time. Studies have shown that fast ICA algorithm can extract clear fetal ECG and then sample entropy can correctly identify the channel from where the fetal ECG signal is coming. 
based on these experimental studies a non invasive fetal electrocardiogram monitor featuring continuous monitoring of the fetal heart rate by measuring the electrical signals of the fetal heart during labor and delivery have been approved for clinical use in many countries the feasibility and accuracy of long term trans abdominal fetal ecg monitoring has been demonstrated by its variability as being well correlated with scalp electrode recordings fetal heart rate detection using abdominal fetal ecg has proved to be more reliable and accurate than ultrasound because fetal ecg has a higher ability to discriminate fetal heart rate it is claimed that intrapartum fetal heart rate determination using maternal skin surface electrodes is superior in accuracy and reliability to monitoring that relies on doppler ultrasound technology the intensity of uterine contractions is measured by the electrical signals coming from the contracting myometrium that is via a method called as electromyography One of the cumbersome features of this technology is that it requires exfoliation of the skin where the electrodes are to be attached to make the signal quality better. The exfoliation tape provided is stuck on the index finger. Exfoliation has to be done as shown in the diagram here. First, make a plus sign on the skin where the electrode is to be attached. Repeat 5 times. then make a cross sign once this is how it is done 1 2 3 4 and 5 now changing the direction do it 5 times again then do it again once in the cross direction as shown now you are ready to stick the electrode Remember this has to be repeated prior to attachment of each of the five electrodes. The electrodes are applied as follows. Open the ring sticker and apply it on the back of the donut keeping the white side of the sticker facing upwards. Connect the color coded electrodes to the wires in the donut. In this way the donut is ready to be placed on the abdomen while sticking the donut around the umbilicus ensure that the up marker is correctly placed upwards as shown apply the first four electrodes at 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions apply the short fourth electrode four fingers above the pubic symphysis this short clip shows what happens when the device is turned on here i would like to point out one thing that i observed it takes a few milliseconds longer to detect and show the fetal heart rate and maternal heart rate readings as compared to the ultrasound based devices which the gynecologists are used to but in the long run this is not a big deal one of the features that i like is the color coded alarm signals emitted by the care device if the led screen shows green color with uniform beeps Unis it means that the condition of the fetus and the mother is normal orange Unis color means that there is a disconnection in this situation you will have to reconnect the device red color with high pitched beeping sound indicates critical condition that is fetal or maternal tachycardia or bradycardia in this situation the softness should immediately inform the obstetrician for necessary action blue light indicates that the device is being charged this will come on when the device is placed in the charging dock how do the different components communicate with each other the care device has a built-in wifi that creates a hotspot the wifi version used is 2.5 gigahertz i feel they should make it faster
the Wi-Fi range is 10 meters or 35 feet. This means that the patient wearing the device on her neck can move around in a radius of 30 feet, which is reasonable. The tablet has a SIM card with which the details are then transferred via Airtel broadband to the company's data servers. The main feature of this technology, unlike other technology, is that physician can access patients electronic fetal monitoring data as well as labor progress in the form of partogram from his mobile even when he or she is far away in his clinic or at home. How is this possible? The doctor has to download the Daksh app made by the company. Via this app, the patient's data is downloaded on his phone from the data servers. They use a cloud system called as AWS. Storing all patients' data in the cloud is convenient but it has its own problems like issue of data hacking. They should have given the option of storing all the data on the tablet which could be accessed by the doctor whenever he wishes. The Daksha software is built to make labor documentation and management easier for medical professionals. It comes with multiple setup options. Daksha makes patient monitoring completely remote and effortless. It comes with features like automated e-partograph, fast patient offline database, report generation, labor vitals monitoring, alarms and alarm system. It also connects to your care device and generates automated graphical interpretation report. It also has an option to print the patient's report. There are multiple options to view and save patient's data such as a tablet which can be put on a stand or mounted on a wall, a mobile phone or the device itself using the Daksha app installed on them. It is compatible with multiple devices. There is an option of getting a tablet for monitoring of multiple patient's data at a glance using the Daksha app. This is ideal for hospital setting. The best thing is that one can see patient's data remotely from anywhere at any time. The data obtained can be printed on an A4 size inkjet printer or a thermal printer. The printer costs extra. I would suggest getting an inkjet printer or a laser printer and not a thermal printer. The advantages of this technology are it offers electronic wireless fetal monitoring. It is accurate. In case of complications, it generates automatic alerts. It is user-friendly. Even staff nurses can enter data. It allows remote location monitoring of real-time labor progress by obstetrician from anywhere. The drawbacks of this technology are application of electrodes on the abdomen is very elaborate if not a tedious process. The signal and therefore the graph on the tablet gets interpreted when the patient moves around in the labor ward. This has been fixed in the later version. As yet, the Daksha app is only available for Android phones and not for iPhones. They will soon come out with a version which is compatible with an iPhone. In conclusion, I will say that this device is ideal for monitoring patients in labor where the presentation is cephalic and the presenting part is vertex. It can also be used in the prenatal period after 34 weeks of gestation. However, it requires the obstetrician to be tech savvy. There is also a recurring cost of consumables like electrodes which should be noted. In conclusion, the care device is an indigenously made electronic device that saves fetal lives.